Mr. Daddy's look. All cold in London. Y'all missed a great stream yesterday on Twitch. The four players, right? I saw that. I was playing. Yo, I'm playing squash from now on, bro. You said you see. You said you saw it. I saw like four players, right? Like, yeah, like you was playing. Yeah, I, was, I was playing with squad. Yo, I'm running squads with fan, with 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 the, with followers on Twitch. So if you got PUBG on PC, come roll with your boy. It was fun. It's fun running a squad. I was playing with uh one of the other athletes, alpha athletes. But come to my Twitch streams usually around 9:30 p.m. three times a week. Just follow and hit the notification button because I don't know when. We out. Before we get started, getting the eye hot, man. Be packing them up? Like I was knocked out in the car, bro. I'm tired. I'm tired. It was going pack. It's Saturday. Hey, it's Sunday. I'm about to walk into a church. What's good, YouTube? Your boy up in the air and shit, looking at the views, you know what I'm saying? Talking to Big Baby Miller right now. If y'all know, he is a pro boxer on HBO and Showtime on all that good stuff, so make sure you check him out. Today is a simple day. Uh, let me fix this mic. Well, I thought it was a simple day. It was supposed to be a back day, and then it ended up being a upper body day without chest, I guess you would say. As you all know, if you watch my videos, I start every workout with four sets with eight, five, eight, whatever pull-ups just to get warmed up. Moving into the neutral grip, pull-downs with a long stretch at the top, pulling hard. The motion when you do um, these close grip or neutral grip pull-downs is you need to rock with it. Don't stay stable, meaning like as you come as the bar comes up and your arms go up you go more towards the machine as it comes down you start to lean back a little bit that gives you a better squeeze and gives you a, a longer range of motion uh same thing with the lap pull downs you can do that same method um my arms are actually too long for this lap pull downs so i kind of have to short arm it and try to instead of reach with my arms um, extend more with my back and that means Let's say, like if you raise your hands up right now, and instead of reaching out with your arms, you just reach up normally, and then instead of using your arms, your, your hands to reach, you just move your back up, almost like you're shrugging. So I was kind of doing that with the lap pull downs. But moving on, this was actually for rear delts. This machine, which I've never seen before. This is why this gym is amazing because he has machines for everything. You guys have heard me say this multiple times, but this machine right here was very good. And I think that's one of the issues uh, with my shoulder is I neglect my rear delt training. And um, I'm not, I'm doing too much push as always, as we all should know, too much push exercises um, can cause shoulder issues if you're not working your back as equally. And it's funny because I, I, I like back more. I train back a lot more. So it's like, am I not doing the correct exercises uh, that I should be to keep my body balanced? And thinking about it, yeah, I do rows and stuff, but I don't do like rear delt work. So um, moving on, went to a shoulder press machine. Didn't go below 90 degrees um, because when I go, when I went below 90 degrees, uh, it was hurting my shoulder. So I tried two different positions, which was the outer position and the inside position, but still a few nicks that you can see in my face that I had to get by. So I just dropped the shoulders. I said I wanted to do shoulders, so I just went to lateral raises, which doesn't bother me. Um, it doesn't bother the rotator cuff. It doesn't keep me from being locked out, um, meaning my, my back, certain angles or certain pressing or um, yeah, certain pressing movements. I try to reach out and my back starts to lock up where my shoulder is, where the lat and the shoulder girdle kind of combines, uh, attaches. So um, I move the laterals because it's simple and easy to do. I always do high reps when it comes to laterals. The shoulders to me, if you do, if you want to do heavy, I would say start out with cable, 
lateral raises, right? And then switch to dumbbell. That has been a um, very effective thing for me. Um, doing like 20 reps on the ca cable raises and then doing like a heavy set of eight reps with dumbbells. So I did that. Um, I didn't show me doing the front raises on the cable. And then I go to the dumbbells doing front raises. And um, I do a twist motion because we do that. We tend to do that a lot with our arms anyways. When we raise it, we, we're twisting it to whatever. I try to put my exercises into the reason, you know, function, functional training. I know it's simple, it's front raises, but something small is going from a neutral grip to an overhand palm at the top makes a difference, especially in strength strengthening. Um, your your front del rotator cuff uh, protecting around that area and then i moved on to um um rack rack pulls because i am not i was not feeling it after especially at the ihop now this whole workout i was not feeling it guys at all um so i went to rack pulls because i didn't feel like pulling off the ground i just want to work straight on the lower back and this is good for really building that lower back strength um just because you're pulling the legs out basically you don't really get that leg drive like you would straight from the floor and it's kind of good to progress down so like let's say I do it this week right here uh, go heavy next week go a little lower all the way until I'm on the ground and this is a good easy way for you not easy but it's a good way for you to put up um, a large amount of weight stay safe and then progress all the way so look at them calves man so that's that. Uh, I think I went up just to like what 600, maybe 585. What up to 585? Then I went to 6 605, something like that. And then I went back down to 585 for a set of six with those calves screaming. It's funny because I don't even train calves anymore. Y'all know. Y'all already know this. I want to start training calves again, but they hurt, man. Training calves is a curse. Calves is a curse. I'm letting y'all know. And to finish off the uh finish off the back exercise or workout i just went to some rows um, i'm actually on a a um angled grip angled neutral grip right here so a uh, set of set of 15 and actually the more weight i put on i actually went um higher in reps set of 20 and then another set of 20 and that is the workout make sure you guys follow the channel like subscribe um link in the bio for my twitch channel um programs are available as well i'll probably do a holiday discount use code holiday for ten dollars off your next program peace out